Hey guys, Bubba here, and today we're going to be discussing if Windows to Go is obsolete now. So what is Windows to Go? Windows to Go is basically a piece of software that allows you to run Windows on a USB. You can take this USB from computer to computer and boot it. However, Windows to Go is no longer being developed. This feature does not support feature updates and therefore it may not allow you to stay current. It also requires a specific type of USB that is no longer supported. However, we have a special software named Haslo Win to USB. So I'm going to be installing Windows 7 and Windows 8.1 using Win to USB and I'm going to be telling you if Windows to Go is obsolete. So to start off here, we kind of have to plug my USB into my Surface Pro here. Alright, so now that it's detected, we want to open Windows to USB and it's going to ask you for administrative privileges. We are going to select a image file. Let's do Windows 8.1 first. So we can either go with Windows 8.1 or 8.1 Pro. I'm going to go with Pro. And we might not be able to do Pro because apparently the free version does not support Windows 10 Professional. So we're going to have to go with Windows 8.1 even though this is um, Windows 8.1 Pro, not Windows 10 Pro. Now we're creating the disk. Alright, so it just took a little bit, and now we need to select the EFI system partition. So I have no idea which one we should do. However, we can select the virtual hard disk size, so we can go to like 22 gigs. This, this is only like a 32 gig um, USB, so we're going to go up there. We can do installation mode legacy, VHD, or VHDX. I'm just going to let, let it go how it is. And the free trial doesn't support VHDX, so we're going to go VHD. It is installing Windows onto this USB. So once it d is done installing, we want to boot into the USB, and then we can set up Windows from there. Two hours later. All right, so our Win to USB has successfully installed. Remember, we are on Windows 8. So we want to quit, and we are going to shut down my Surface, and we're going to boot from it. Alright, we're in the Surface UEFI, so hopefully I can figure out, I just change the boot order. Um, Windows Boot Manager goes before USB storage, I'll change that back later. So exit and restart now, and hopefully we'll boot into this USB. Alright, so I'm not sure if this is an error with the USB or an error with my Surface, but we're going to go to... Um, press the Windows key. You can't do anything as you click on here. Wait, I got my, I, I got, up. Oh, hold on. So we are missing a file here. It's the win to USB disk dot SYS. I'm not sure if this is an error with the Windows to USB or if this is just an error. So for some reason, I booted the same USB on a different computer. And now it's, it's reading the USB and it's, and it's, preparing windows so I'm gonna get it set up on here and I'm gonna try it back on the surface so basically that this computer just turned on with Windows 8.1 with Windows USB and up here judging by Toshiba we're setting it up as a Toshiba machine because this is a Toshiba but I wanted to run it on my surface so <laughs> so if you couldn't tell this is definitely Windows 8.1 based on right here that dark blue and we're gonna call it can we like Win to USB video. I'll just use Express settings. And I'm really sorry about this screen. I'm really sorry about this screen technology. It's 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 really not as well as the one on the surface here. I mean this the one on the surface here is way better than this one, because this one is actually a cheaper Toshiba versus my Surface Pro here. Alright, so we're just gonna name this account um Win to USB and no password. I'm going to be really excited to see what kind of de what kind of backgrounds I get on here cuz I remember the original Toshiba one and I, this is meant to be running on my surface, not on here. So I don't know why I'm getting so excited over the OEM Toshiba software. I just tried switching from the Toshiba to this and we just got the blue screen. We have an internal power error. That doesn't sound very good. Okay, so internal power error. The policy manager has experienced a fatal error, which means it can happen because of drivers, software, or even external hardware. Nice. We, we did it again. 
Okay, I'm doing my last effort to get Windy USB to work, and excuse me that I, I literally left off at the most random point in the last recording, but I, did, I had to do something else. So, I have it plugged into my um, USB hub, not sure if it's going to work, but it's a last ditch effort. So we're going to click power, and now that it, the computer has power, we're going to hold option. And it should pop up. Now, if it says Windows, if there's two Windows, then that means one of them's being detected. Yeah, because this is my boot camp partition. This is my Mac. This is my Mac. That's my EFI. So what happens if I unplug this? Okay, so it, that was EFI boot. So we can try EFI. I don't know if it's going to actually boot into anything, but we have USB activity. Whoa. Hold on. This video's not over yet. Okay, so since my video ability sucks, I kinda had to zoom in and you still can't see. But we are actually at the region and language screen, and... Okay, next. And you can't see the bottom part, but I mean, since this is a retina display, Microsoft thinks that it's like the biggest, like the best screen resolution. And now, like, it, it gets in this little corner up at the top of my screen. Okay, so I've came to a conclusion here. Even if it does end up finishing, it's never gonna it's never gonna work right because it's always running off of a stupid 32 gigabyte USB and it's not gonna get us anywhere. It's just gonna it's just gonna always be too slow for Windows to completely run functionally on this computer. Anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe for more random experiments and I'll see you all in the next one.